perspective because we're talking about effective sampling. But um, one of the things that me and my team have been doing to preface this is that we learned um, the SEDEBI training a few months ago. And it's a really long training, um, but it's super great. Um, the set of these are like, oh, somebody's screen sharing on here. That's weird. Whoever Pat McKenna is, I don't know why you're screen sharing. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna share my screen instead. Can y'all see that, my presentation? Can y'all see this? Yes? Okay, cool. Um, so, let me see if I can unmute y'all. Okay, if you, can't, if you can't see it, unmute yourself. I don't know who Pat McKenna was or how they could override my screen share, but that's okay. Um, so, the Sedevis are like, triple presidential diamonds or something crazy like that now. And um, they did a ton of research, basically like $100,000 worth of research into sampling. And so I kind of pulled from their sampling research and then also added to it the spoil campaign. So um, I think that this has been something that really has helped my team a whole lot and myself personally. Um, hit diamond in the month that we did the spoil campaign and the sampling. So I really, really just found this all to be extremely helpful. So um, like I said, I'm diamond rank. My name is Brittany Davidson and this is effective sampling. Um, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I've um, had my business to give you a little background of myself. Um, I started originally in Nashville, grew my business in a few months to Premier, and then me and my husband moved to New Orleans. From there, I grew my business to Gold, and then we moved back to Nashville and had our baby, and now I'm Diamond. But it just goes to show you that you can do your business everywhere, and it was really nice for me because I'm a typically very shy person, so I um, really had to get outside my warm market because I didn't know anybody in New Orleans. And it really helped to sample those people. So why is sampling important? So it's the key ingredient to a very successful business for one. Also, it forms the foundation of a strong or weak team. Um, you can tell really quickly if you have a strong or weak team based off of how you're sampling. If you're sampling and you're not following up, you're gonna have a weak team and you're gonna have people that fall out because they're not seeing results, right? And so if you have a strong team that's sampling, you're gonna see people that enroll after a sample, right? Because they're gonna have a really great experience and they're gonna know how to follow up. They're gonna get that education and they're gonna be confident about buying oils for you. Third, duplication of this method is essential for success. So sampling is super, super, super duplicable, and um, it's something that you can teach anybody that you sign up on your team, which is the best thing. So a lot of times, you know, there might be a super salesperson out there that really rocks it out in doTERRA, but that's hard to teach more people under them because they might not have that sales experience. Whereas if you teach something like sampling, it's something that anybody can really learn. So that's what we're going to teach you tonight. So correctly done, the Sedevi said, um, it's 80% effective, company-wide average is only 20%, y'all. So that goes to show you that if you're sampling by just keeping samples in your purse, which is amazing, but you're not following up, you're not putting them in a program, you're not inviting them to classes, um, you're going to be 20% likely to enroll them. Uh, whereas this is 90 to 95% enrolling, which is pretty amazing. So this is the current sampling situation. So this is my precious baby girl, Evelyn, when she was about three months old. And we were putting together little sample kits and um, enrollment kits. And so my current situation was pretty crazy. It was disorganized, it was distracted. You know, I, I would fumble around in my purse at Whole Foods if somebody was having, um, talking to me about oils and I was trying to find any sample I could in my bag. Um, or I wouldn't know what to send. Um, I'd be over diagnosing maybe a situation. I'd be sampling like something crazy, like, um, you know, MS or something like that, that somebody had. We need to sample small things that are big wins. Don't have samples at opportune time, you know, telling somebody you do oils, but then not being able to give them a sample um, is always not a good thing. 
burned by no response because the sample is you gave them a sample on your business card, but you never hear anything back because you don't have their information. Sampling major issues, like I said, giving away way too much. We don't want to give away full bottles of anything or too big of roller bottles. And then the worst, giving away samples at classes. And that's the absolute worst because you're going to shoot yourself in the foot and not have an enrollment. People need one option at a class and that is to enroll, not to pick a sample or enroll. So that's a no, no, no. So um, this is the better way to do sampling. Elisa Debbie says, like I said, she's like a triple presidential diamond. Um, this business does not grow organically. It grows by mastering simple skill sets and duplicating them over and over again by Elise Sidebi. So one of my um, funny things that I've heard a lot in this business, and I even said at the beginning to my upline Kristen, um, is I'd say, well, I'll see if this business works for me. And y'all, I hate to burst your bubble, but businesses don't work for you. Just like if you were to get a job anywhere, it's not going to work for you. You work for it. And so the work that you put in for it will um, come back out of it. So you really need to adopt systems that people before you have tried um, because they're tried and true, right? Um, somebody that's done Presidential Diamond numerous times clearly knows how to do it in a very effective way. They helped grow a team in a month to Diamond. So they really know that these systems work. So Elise likes to talk about number of touches. So touches equal exposure. So um, the kind of rule of thumb right now is 17 touches or exposures equals a sale. So that means that the first time somebody hears about essential oils or even doTERRA, more than likely it's gonna take them 17 different times to hear it again. So they might hear it at, um, you know, on the news or in a magazine, or they might see somebody's backpack at the airport. So you always wanna be that touch. So nowadays we need eight to 16 touches. Sampling process designed for maximum number of touches before class or one-on-one. -on -one. So what this is gonna do by sampling them before a class, um, it's gonna maximize those touches. So they're gonna get more and more comfortable. That way when they're on their eight to 16th touch, they're at your class sitting right there. So they have already gotten all the exposure they need. So they are for sure gonna enroll with you. Because the worst thing to do, right, is that you're sampling somebody or talking to somebody and then they go enroll with somebody else. So we only invite to classes in one-on-ones those who have had a great experience with the oils themselves. So this is what not to do. Sampling a complex issue or diagnosis. And y'all, if you've done this, don't worry, don't be ashamed. I've done the same exact thing when somebody has said, oh my gosh, I have fibromyalgia. I really need some, um, I really need some help. Um, Oh, somebody's trying to get into this meeting. Sorry. Um, hopefully, you are all still there. So you do not want to, you know, send. You don't want to look into your Modern Essentials book and look up fibromyalgia and give them an oil for that. You want to be like, what's another issue you have? You know, allergies, headache, um, anxiety. Give them something like um, a happy oil, like Serenity, something that they can show really, really makes a difference. Then you're also going to give an expensive sample. You're not going to give an expensive sample. Um, so you don't want to give away a little sample of Melissa or even frankincense. You want to give something away that's um, not expensive. It's not going to blow your budget, but it's going to give them that simple wow effect. Even like a wild orange is going to really show them how to boost their energy. And then she recommends that you don't give more than one sample. In the spoil that I'm gonna introduce later, I'm gonna show you why we recommend more. But in her training, she recommends give more than one sample. So step one, you're going to make the call. So in this case, Elise is really a believer in calling and face-to-face. -face. Um, it goes to say with her generation, but it's how she built her business. She didn't use social media at all for her business, which is amazing. So it goes to show that you can do it without it. Now I understand like my demographic, I use Facebook Messenger a lot and text just because that's how people, a lot of people my age like to communicate. But if you're having trouble with that, obviously pick up the phone. So she says, do not reach out via Facebook, do not text, do not email. Obviously, if these work for you, do them. But if you're ending up like at a stop sign where people aren't responding these ways, pick up the phone. 
Don't be ashamed. Do them a favor, which is you're offering them these great oils and then make it personal. I thought of you first. So one of the favorite things I like to say when I am about to sample somebody is I'll say, I just got these great samples in and I thought of you first. So I wanted to go ahead and offer them to you. And that makes it super um, appealing to them, right? You're not just throwing samples out there to anybody that wants them. You thought of them. Then you're also going to make it urgent. They are flying out of my hands. So um, you don't have to say something that crazy, but um, at the same time, it does give them that sense of urgency. Um, I will say, I thought of you first, and I wanted to message you quickly because I'm about to give them to some other friends that are looking for them too. Um, something that creates sense of urgency. Step two, you want to set expectations. Y'all, if you were to get anything from this, training i really hope you get this part because this little blurb of sentences has helped me so so much with everything i every time i have sampled and i um just think it's the key and i actually do send this in facebook messenger and text message as soon as i'm about to mail somebody's samples um so this is what we say and you can copy and paste this. I'm going to drop this off to you, but I want to first mention some similarities of natural medicine and traditional medications. You know how when you go to a doctor and try a medication, but they tell you that not every medicine works for every person in the same way? Essential oils are similar in that sense. Our bodies are different and our chemistry is different. So sometimes oils work with our bodies differently. What I'm going to do is drop off the most common oil for your ailment, and we will see how it works for you. The most common one is usually the least expensive one, but we may need to tweak it to find exactly what your body needs. If you're as patient with natural medicine as you are with prescription drugs, we will find something that is cheaper, safer, more effective, and that specifically works for you. Deal? If it doesn't work for them, offer to swap out their original sample. It makes them value their original sample that much more. So this automatically puts something into their mind where it's like, this isn't a, does it work? Does it not work? This is a complete journey that you're hand in hand holding them through. And y'all, this has saved um, so many different attempts with getting oils into people's houses because I'm not asking the question, you know, in a few days, did it work or have you tried it? I'm asking, um, you know, did you apply the deep blue to your forehead, like I said, and then it's um, a lot more conversational and they feel like they're not going to let you down or try to avoid you, you know, if it didn't work, because that's awkward too for friends and family, right? So step three, you're going to deliver. So ideally, the best way to do this is drop off in person, one sample and one guide. Um, you're going to demonstrate in front of them how to use both and then tell them you'll follow up with them in two days. Y'all, I cannot express how much it has benefited me when I've actually gone the distance and met with them in person. I actually um, have a high school friend that I was really good friends with about 10 years ago and we reconnected over Instagram and I noticed she had been liking my post and so I reached out to her about doing the spoil group and just wanting to get together because I know she had a baby, I had a baby. And um, I offered to meet up with her for a play date and to give her oils then. And um, I thought she lived in Nashville, but she actually lived in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And she said, you know, it's fine. I'm so sorry you thought I lived in Nashville. You can just, I said, you know, basically I'd still love to meet up with you. And um, going that hour and a half drive and back, um, I think made the biggest difference in the world. It showed that I cared and I really do care about her, but we had a play date. I drove back and within two days of the spoil campaign, she enrolled and, um, I, her budget was limited, but it was the fact that I really like went above and beyond, showed her how to do it. I wasn't just about getting as many samples into as many hands as possible. It was about really spending that quality time. So, but there are plenty of people that I've had to mail samples to too. So that works as well. But the key is you wanna tell them you'll follow up with them in two days. So step four, your first follow-up call. So call it two days, not sooner, not later. Don't ask, how was it? That is the thing that you do not want to ever ask. And that was so hard for me to train myself not to. And don't worry, there's gonna be scripts that I'm gonna give you um, once this recording is posted. You're gonna ask, have you had the opportunity to try the oils yet? And then 50% will not have tried it yet. And this is good because you're gonna receive so much more touches because of this. 
So if they haven't used it yet, you're going to respond with excitement. You're going to say, this is what we're going to do. You're going to give the instructions again. So you're going to say, you're going to go get your deep blue right now. Get it. You're going to open up that little packet of deep blue. You're going to put some on a pea size amount in your finger and you are going to rub some on your forehead. Somebody's getting crazy on the zoom. I think with their coloring. Um, <laughs> and then you're going to let me know how you feel. And so you're going to call again in the morning and do your second follow-up call. If anybody's on, um, I think it might be you, Denise Garza. Do you mind muting yourself? Thank you. Um, so you're going to call again in the morning and do your second follow-up call to see how they're doing. If they haven't used it the next morning, have them use it with you on the phone. Sorry, I don't know how to erase that. Somebody accidentally doodled on the Zoom. <laughs> Third follow-up call. So you're gonna say, tell me more about your experience. This makes them assess how much they need this oil. So I love saying this because then they're gonna start telling you everything they love about it. When you stop and listen to what people say, they remember more of what they say instead of what you say, which is key because then that reassures them later on for the sale. If it was a bad experience, you'll say, this is what we're gonna do. So you always have a solution for them. You're never stumped, you're never discouraged. You just say, okay, that's absolutely fine. So if maybe the deep blue didn't work, maybe you're gonna try Aromatouch or Peppermint or Past Tense, and you're gonna swap out the sample. Then you're gonna repeat the sampling process until they have a great experience. So this is the sampling flow chart. So like I said, once I um, get done posting the recording of this call, um, you'll have this in your back pocket. But y'all, I love, love, love to keep this in my email because anytime I'm stumped, and yes, I get stumped all the time with what people say, I'll go back to this flow chart and I'll see what Elise recommends. And y'all, it's amazing because I'll do my own adapt of it and it always works. It is so crazy. Um, there's one thing that she always says. It's like, uh, it's something I've carried over to my LRP scripts. And it's like, um, she just says deal question mark after things. And every single time, I think except for one, um, it has always got people to sign up for LRP. I'll say something like, you know, something I do for all my customers that sign up that they love is I sign them up with for LRP for the next month as soon as we enroll them with just one wish list item. That way when we go in for the membership consult, super easy to log in, we can edit things, and that way you go ahead and make points on all your orders so you don't lose any points. And I say deal like just deal. And um, they say, yeah, that's great. So I love that, that deal question mark. It's, it's a winner. So step five, you're going to invite them to a class. So I um, was in a mommy and me group with these two precious gems of ladies that I now call friends. And um, back when Evelyn was just a wee little tot, only like five weeks old. And um, so I used to sit every training with them and it really, really did work. Um, they're loyal amazing customers. So I just like to show you that because that was their first class to come to. So, but they had been sampled before actually in my mommy and me class. But once they had a good experience, restate their experience for them. This is very important. So you're going to say, um, they're basically, um, you know, I'm really glad you enjoyed that deep blue for your severe back pain and that you're not having to take Advil for it, if that's something that they said. So reiterate that because then it's going to really sink into their brain. And then they're going to probably use this positive testimony at their upcoming class that they attend. So we build businesses on their positive personal experiences, not on what we tell them about the oils themselves, because we can tell people all day long about LLV and deep blue and all this kind of stuff. But until they really believe it and have that true aha moment, like this works, um, you know, they, they don't know for all we know. And so that way, when they had that one gateway breakthrough, like mine was balance. As soon as I tried balance, I was just like, oh my gosh, I know it's a huge difference. Whatever you say, everything else that you say has to be true. Um, so then you're gonna invite them to a class and then always have several standing classes on your calendar. This is super important. I always like to have one class and I know um, even just having, like if you have a monthly make and take, always have that on the calendar, always have that, it printed out or 
telling them like, this is the date of my next class. That way you always have some standing date and always have those classes and then always make up classes too, which is really great, even just for one person and build off of that. So you're also gonna sample, sample routinely. How and when do you sample? What kind of sampling programs do you have in place? Do you think you'd enroll more if you would sample more? Using the set of training in mind, I present to you. So if you may have already heard of this program, you may have done this program. That's awesome. Um, I started this program um, and I did not create it, but I heard of it for a long time. And then I finally did it with my team and y'all, it has done numerous things for my business because I, um, I've been out of my warm market for a long time, which means like your friends and family. And so finding new people is key to me to keep growing my business from, um, you know, the leadership levels and up. And even, you know, you might be out of your warm market now, which is fine. Um, but sampling, sampling, sampling everyone you come into contact with. So this is the spoiler yourself with doTERRA campaign. Sorry about that. I got tongue tied. So this is an event um, we do once a month on our team because it's been so successful. Um, and it just keeps on bringing good, solid enrollments in. That way, you know you're constantly sampling at least five people per month. So you have the opportunity to enroll five people per month. Then when other people come along that you can enroll, that's amazing too. But um, this constantly keeps you in the game. Oh, there we go. So how to do a spoil yourself campaign. So this was created by Heather Pattenod. She is a presidential diamond, super amazing, super amazing that she would share this with all of us as well. It's so, so, so simple. So you're gonna take five different samples. They're super basic, deep blue, wild orange, lavender, peppermint, and balance. Basically, all these five oils, I've never changed from them because um, they're really simple win oils. Uh, oh yeah, and then you also have um, On Guard Toothpaste. So I may have told you one of those wrong. Um, but we'll see in a second. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's been a long day. Um, so you're gonna send them to five different people who are not members with doTERRA. And like I said, these are gonna be small wins for people because each day they're gonna see the magnitude of each oil. Then you're gonna put them into a Facebook event campaign. So I wanna share with you my results first before you think this is a lot of work because it's not. Um, but I want to show you what huge things it did for my team. So November was the highest record month of OV for my team ever. Besides, now I have to add this February. February was now the <laughs> largest month in OV. And I know BOGOs had something to do with that, but BOGOs don't have everything to do with enrollment. So, um, so November was the highest enroller month with 72 enrollments team wide on my team. And um, this month, this past month of February, we had over 100 and as opposed to like 25 in October. So we really, everybody was enrolling so many more people that did this spoil me campaign. It's easily duplicable, gets you outside of your warm market. Um, so one of the things I like to do, cause like I said, I'm kind of like burn out my warm market, which isn't a bad thing. Some friends and family will still join that I know, but for the most part, everybody on my social media knows I do, do doTERRA. And so I, uh, will ask like a customer, which I'm going to talk about later to post for me. Um, and it's actually helped people that have been like, oh, I want to be a sharer to actually start building with doTERRA because then they realize how many people are so interested in getting samples from them. So it helps turn sharers into builders. Um, it also helps launch people because they're actually doing action steps. Um, momentum of group and education clears all doubts because they're getting these excited yeses, they're getting engagement in the groups, and 75% of the spoilies in our group actually enrolled, which was super amazing. Somebody's getting crazy with a pen again <laughs> on my pretty presentation. I'm just kidding. I've done that too before. Um, so hold this once a month and then, sorry, somebody's getting really crazy with the pen. And then my personal enrollments have gone up from one a month to around five, a six to six a month, which is really, really great. And as a leader, I know sometimes that's embarrassing to admit that sometimes I would only have one enrollment a month. Um, but there are some slow months, you know? Um, and so to have a solid five to six a month is going to keep you growing and solidifying so much better. Okay. 
I've got a, I wish I could erase these scribbles on the screen. Um, so step one, you're going to market a spoil campaign on social media or message directly. Um, let's see if I can clear this off. There. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Okay, so this was my um, enrollee, Carly Sieber. She is in from Hohenwald, Tennessee. And um, she actually told me that she wanted, she found me on Facebook, which was super amazing, on Facebook Live on my Essentially Bee. And um, outside of my warm market completely, never been to Hohenwald. And she loved the oil. She fell in love because her son had severe allergies. And she's probably listening on this call right now because she's a builder now. Um, but when she posted this post for me, she was not a builder. She was just a customer. And um, so this is the power of the Spoil Yourself campaign. So she said, Sawyer and I recently started using essential oils as part of a daily routine. We use Arm Guard to help us keep healthy during cold and flu season. And then Sawyer also uses a breathe stick, which is like a healthy version of Vicks Vapor to help open his airways. Every night we diffuse several different oils, on guard, Melaleuca, Lavender Balance. And so she goes on to say that she um, found out about them from me, yada, yada, yada. She posts that um, I am helping give five samples to five people. She ended up getting 24 people to sample. And um, because she found out that this was so wanted and there was such a need, especially in her community of Hohenwald, she decided to be a builder. And um, that month she hit elite. <laughs> she was a customer and she hit elite in one month. And then she hit elite again in February. So super amazing. But it goes to show you that if you're trying to get around your warm market, they may not always turn into a builder, but ask one of your customers that's super loyal to maybe post this on their page and you can open into a completely new market. Let's see. This page. Oh. So this is the verbiage we like to use for social media posts. Um, I would like to spoil at least five people not currently enrolled with doTERRA by giving you five doTERRA samples. I'm giving you deep blue, peppermint, essential oil, wild orange essential oil, lavender essential oil, and balance um, essential oil. And finally, our amazing on guard toothpaste. I'll mail the samples to you and add you to a private group or event that runs from November 13th or 17th. You can change that time. And that group each day, we will take a different sample and post all about and the ways to use it. Also, there'll be amazing giveaways. This is done at your own leisure during that week. Comment below or private message me if you would like to be spoiled with doTERRA samples. So this is something that you can copy and paste with that picture um, before and put it on your Instagram or your Facebook. You can do this with your team, so it makes it a lot easier. Um, but if you do find that you do not get um, likes or comments on your post, um, algorithms are super weird right now. And so even I sometimes won't get comments on posts like this. And so don't be afraid, um, just start messaging people, say that thing, like incorporate what the said it be said, that you have got these amazing, great, like this quote down here, doTERRA's allowing me to spoil five people with $20 worth of samples of the best oils. I immediately thought of you. I only have five, so I wanted to reach out to you first before I ran out. That way they're feeling targeted. They, uh, you thought of them, they're feeling special. And so they will most likely say yes. So like I said, if something doesn't work for you, like posting on social media, ask private message or text or call. Or the next time you see them, ask them. So samples to buy. The nice thing about this program is you can buy everything from doTERRA except for the little bubble mailers. So this is what I like to give my team before we start this. Um, so you're going to give them five samples of each. So deep blue rub, peppermint, wild orange, lavender, balance, on guard toothpaste. So the deep blue rub, you can buy those little samples and little sachets um, from your doTERRA back office as well as the on guard toothpaste. Then you're going to get a little bubble mailers, get 20 small sample vials if you're just doing the limiting it to five people each. And then um, you just need to find five people to spoil who are not enrolled. Now you can totally spoil more people than that, but I like to say, um, don't get too crazy. Like I said, 
um, Carly had 24 the first month and I probably shouldn't have gone that far. Of course, you don't want to lose people, but I think um, following up with people every day, trying to enroll them, it's super hard if it is more than 10. So this is what we'd send with our samples. So this would be cut in half, but with our samples, we'd send this. That way it has instructions for each day, but it's also gonna tell you this at the top. I know it is irresistible, but don't open your samples until we begin in the Facebook group Monday at 8 a.m. That way they're truly going to use the samples like they're supposed to, and it gives them a little bit of anticipation, which everybody needs in their life, right? So, um, you're gonna give them this with their samples. And then I like to always say, do a small, short, little handwritten note, even if it has to be a post-it note, just something that keeps it personal. The more you're personal with your business, the more people will stay connected to you and be lifelong customers. So rules using the Sedebi training with spoil. If local meet up with them and hand deliver samples, like I said with my girl in Bowling Green, um, then when filling your samples, do eight drops max in drams. You could do 12 if you wanted to, but you don't want to like give super big drams. Um, I like to do the five eighths drams. And then um, I like to just give them a little bit. That way at the end of the week, they're really looking for more oil to buy. <laughs> and then as soon as you send deliver samples, send this text Facebook message. So this is exactly what we talked about before with the um, Sedevi training. I just incorporated it into the spoil. So as you can see, she's like, sounds great. I've dabbled in oils before. So clearly somebody has sampled her before, but they didn't follow up. So that just goes to show you that somebody else has had touches and she has ended up enrolling under Carly and she is even a builder now too. So, um, so this, this message really does work and it makes them feel like you're in it with them together. Okay. So why a Facebook event? Um, instead of just like sampling people. So it creates community, creates engagement. Everybody's getting excited together. Everybody's, you know, being part of the giveaways and all sorts of fun. And it keeps them in a controlled amount of time. So you are controlling when they're going to enroll. You're controlling the questions, solutions, and basically hurting them into this one way track of enrollment. So once I add people to the event, I like to say, I'm so excited to start this group you on Monday to start off, let's do a fun giveaway. Everyone tell us a little bit more about yourself, your family, and where you're from. You know, you can see those 46 comments there. So all of our spoilies are commenting. What this does is it helps them feel like they're engaging and they get to win stuff, but it's also going to trick the algorithm in Facebook so that now, since they're commenting on posts from your group, they're going to show up in their news feeds. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't. Here's the second giveaway I'd do. So I'd say, answer this pack to win a three pack of glass roller bottles. So I'd say, um, who shared doTERRA essential oil samples with you? So that way they're kind of giving kudos to the person that spoiled them, which is super fun. So the spoil week. Each sample gets its own dedicated day. 8 a.m. Facebook Live, you're gonna do three minute quick talk telling them how to use the sample. At 2 p.m. then we do a continuing education. So we do something on co-impact sourcing and CPGG. That way when they're experiencing the sample in the morning, it's quick and simple how to use it. They get the impact. But then at two o'clock, they get to find out why we don't want to just go buy oil from TJ Maxx, right? Um, every builder that is adding people to a spoil group and spoiling with your team needs to comment and like on post. That way their spoilies see it in their news feeds. So this is my lovely silver team leader, Julian Erickson, demonstrating how to use On Guard toothpaste. Um, the nice thing about these videos, they'll alert them because they're live um, when they're live, but people can go back and watch them later on too throughout the day. Um, then this is my lovely um, silver leader, Nikki, actually gold now. Um, Nikki was demonstrating balance. And then this is my mom, who's my lovely platinum leader, talking all about continuing education at the two o'clock class, all about pets. And then finally, in the finale, uh, we would do a Facebook Live class on Saturday. This was kind of like the mass herding event to everybody enroll. And so what we would do is we would say, everybody that attends live, and we put up a post on Friday, um, is eligible for a free wild orange on Saturday if they attend the class live. And so 
basically the special day only enrollment offer for those that commented and view live at 8 a.m. If they enrolled that day, they get a free wild orange. Y'all, uh, we focused on two kits, the Natural Solutions and Home Essentials. We've never sold more Natural Solutions kits in a day, probably on my team. Um, people that have never sold Natural Solutions kits before sold them because we were so focused just on that kit, the Lumo diffuser and what was in it. Um, the free wild orange with enrollment that day of the Facebook Live 101 class achieved 23 enrollments on my team for that day alone. Just from that one group, 23 people decided to sign up because that's simple incentive. And that was just throwing a $10 oil into that order. Time sensitivity helps. Oh, let's see. I guess we're done. Um, hi, everyone. I'm back. Um, so, I, um, I think time sensitivity really helps. Having people in one community engagement really helps. So that is spoiled. Does anybody have any questions? I know that kind of ended up roughly. I have um, a question. So how many people should be in the Spoil Me event? Like what's the ideal number? Um, probably like max, like 50, um, but like you could do 60. Um, I kind of do everything um, trial by error. Um, but I think, um, I think you'd probably want at least 20 would be general rule of thumb because you don't want crickets. You want people like engaging. There's going to be some like people that are always floaters. They may end up enrolling, but they don't say a word in those classes or in those groups. But I would say your idea would be like between 20 and 50. And it depends if you're just, you know, managing it or if you and your frontline are managing it with you. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Who from my team here can speak up and talk about spoil? I see you. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I can unmute somebody. I'm really calling you. Let's see. Juliana, I see you. I'm going to meet you to so talk about spoil. Wow. <laughs> How would you love it? <laughs> okay. What do you want to know? Your success with it. Yeah. Um, I honestly, I, I need to work harder on it. You know, I, I'm, I yeah. just, I'm saying I do. I do. Yeah. I hear all the numbers you're talking about and I guess I need to just do more. I met with somebody this afternoon who's going to be enrolling. They did this oil last week, but um, anyway. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes like I had a month like January, what it wasn't super, um, super positive, which is fine. But a lot of them ended up enrolling in February. So a lot of times it's all about planting those seeds, um, which is super, super important. How do you instruct them to then enroll if you have multiple builders on it? Like do each of the builders follow up with their five people or do you give them the different websites based on who's on the... Yes, yeah, so from the beginning, I'm like very clear and we always say like in each video, we're always like whoever invited you, like contact them. Whoever invited you, enroll with them. We're very like, we love doing things at a t as a team, but we like being like 100% transparent. Nobody's going to steal anybody's people. We're all doing this together. And so um, the nice thing too about Facebook is, is that you can see who's people mutual friends with. And so I have people all the time that are like, how do I enroll? And then I can look who they're friends with. So if they're friends with like Rhonda, who's on my team on here, or Roxanne, who's on my team, or Cynthia. I can be like, oh, sign up with Cynthia, because obviously I know that's who their mutual friends is with. Um, and then I can tell, you know, Cynthia, this is who's looking to enroll, go ahead and contact her. But generally people are pretty good about um, like going back and contacting who they've enrolled with. And that's one of the things I like telling all my leaders, like you need to make sure to constantly like check in with them, see how they're doing. Um, one thing I like to say to people, especially if they're like kind of hearing crickets from their people is like say, hey, are you okay? I know that you're super excited about your oils, but I noticed like I haven't seen you on the spoil page. Are you with everything going okay? And they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm fine. And then they'll, you know, start re-engaging again. A lot of times people just don't see the post because the algorithm is so tricky.
Anybody else have any questions? Anybody else done spoil before? Brittany, this is Front. I had a question on um, when I've gone to networking events and I've done the spoil me campaign. I haven't been. Um, how you you ever ask them the question of would you commit to participating in this? Is that too strong of a word? Because I feel like sometimes I've given samples away and there was nothing in it for them to follow through and do the spoil campaign. Um, I've never said, would you commit, but, um, I have said the thing like Elise says, where it's like, if you work with me, I'll work with you and we'll find a solution for you. So that way it's like, it's not like we commit, but it's like, let's work on this together. And like, I would kind of redirect it back to whatever, if you're sampling them at an event and they're saying they have headaches, be like, here's some samples to show you how they really work. The oils work, but let's work on your headaches. Obviously, you're gonna, peppermint's going to be in there. Um, if you work on it with me, I'll work on it with you kind of thing. Thank you. Okay. Roxanne, do you want to talk about how the spoil event has been successful for you? <laughs> I muted you. Okay. It has been as successful with people that I have um, basically, I guess, planted seeds with years ago. So I have um, some people that I've reached out to, and once I can get them into the Spoil Me campaign, it's amazing how many will enroll once they really get it. And once they see that doTERRA is a good company that's full of integrity. Um, and that's what I love about the continuing education part with that in the afternoons. I love that we can talk about where it's sourced from, why doTERRA is so important, why it's better than you know, anyone else as far as the CPTG. Uh, we talk about pets, babies, um, so that's a lot of fun. And it just brings that community together where it's different when you just enroll one person, but once they've been talking and communicating with each other, it brings that sense of community. So then when you put them into your old essence group or whatever group you have, they can continue that and go forward with it. Um, that's the part I like about it. Awesome. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions or about the um, beginning, the Sedevi training part? using like key language. There's um, really great scripts too that I'll post in the comments of when I post the recording. Um, I love keeping the scripts in like a Google Docs um, app on my phone. And I'm such a nerd because like I'll still get nervous when like people are texting me about samples like before they enroll. And so I'll be like, what should I say? What should I say? And I'll go to the Google Docs and I'll literally copy and paste and then edit it. And then I'll send it to him. And it, it like literally the way she words things, she spent a hundred thousand dollars on it. So it worked. Um, psych, psychology, you know, it basically helps people to enroll. So I like to use them as guidelines a lot for when I'm texting back and forth with people. So I'll make sure to put those in the comments of the recording. Anybody else have any questions? If not, I'll go ahead and sign off. But thank you all so much for joining. It looks like we had a we had a good group tonight. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Oh, I'm gonna look in the chat really quick to see if anybody has questions. And then Cassie, I think you asked how often do you run the spoil yourself? We do it once a month now. I think it's super important, especially for new people that join to um, be able to do a program that's super easy. They literally just have to sample people. And it really shows us as leaders if that person's gonna be willing to build. If they don't sample people and join the program, it kind of shows us like that's a really good place to, um, we might not want to place them on like somebody's front line in the first 14 days then, right? Um, so it's a cool, fun way to show how eager people are to act on building. So I do like it, especially for that. And we just give it as the option too. Like I don't make all my leaders do it every single month, um, but I like having it as an opportunity. That way everybody on our team can um, use it. 
my dogs over there digging on the couch. Sorry for that weird noise. <laughs> um, but thanks y'all. Have a good, have a good night.